Okay, folks. <clears throat> this is some footage that I took before I got sick, and the week, probably the week before, me and Polly got sick, both of us. And uh, I just wanted to take and bring it to you. Um, it's all about resources uh, that we picked up that uh, the pastor down at our church. Um, had laying around so I just want to take and throw it in here um, hopefully you enjoy it and uh, you can kind of see what we uh, look for when we're looking for resources and looking for things uh, we hardly ever turn down resources from anybody so hope you enjoy this and uh, like I said this was taken all this footage was taken before uh, me and Polly got sick so uh, this is not anything new. It's about, this is actually about three weeks old. So, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, guys, let's talk about some resources here. I got to give a big shout out to Pastor Mike Green, uh, New Covenant uh, Church down in St. John's, Arizona. Um, he caught me the other day at church and said, Hey, I've got some resources for you. He watches our channel. Uh, he had a bunch of stuff in his backyard, and uh, he he took and told me to come over and pick it up. Um, he did a brick wall out in front of his house, did a real good job on that. He had a pallet left over, so I grabbed that pallet. He also had some uh, odds and ends of uh, metal. I'm going to put those on my resource pile. Um... He had this box, which is a, it's an old hose box. Um, it's got a little bit of damage to it, but I think it's going to make a really good solar box. I put some vents in the side of it. Uh, been looking for something to make my next solar box out of. Had these little pallets. I'm going to use them here in a little bit, or one of them, uh, to make a, a little bit better step to get in and out of the, out of the camper. Uh, real big score right here he gave us uh another blue barrel with uh, a spigot in it a piece of an old table just some odds and ends of stuff that are going to work out really good for us uh, that he didn't need anymore so he was kind enough to offer them to us and we got them so i'm gonna take and use them the thing the thing i do i try to organize stuff so it doesn't look as like a junk pile <laughs> But I've got stuff kind of organized over there. And it'll sit there until I need it or somebody else comes along and they need it. That's what homesteading is all about. you got to help each other out. And I'm, I'm constantly talking to people. And they'll say, I'm, I'm looking for this or I need this or I, I'm trying to build this. And I say, i got just the thing for you. Uh, and, and it's a give and a take kind of thing. And that's, that's the way it should be. Um, this stuff was given to me. And if somebody comes along and needs it, I'll give it to them. But this box right here, really going to help us for our next solar box. Um, things like this that people overlook a lot of times, uh, that to them, it looks like junk. But to me, it's an answer to a prayer. So I'm going to take and get this stuff unloaded. I'm going to take one of these other pallets up. I'm going to take this up to where my new solar um, project's going to go. So I have it there. I'll probably paint it. Uh, mount it in a way that it's up off the ground and it's gonna be gonna be really nice I, I'm, I'm I'm really excited about this stuff I, I get excited about junk that's just me so do that and then I'll work on the front step a little bit get it leveled up so it's a little bit easier for Miss Polly to get in and out of the camper right out there is where we're gonna put our our big solar uh, array I've got to build the uh, rack for it and I'm going to build it in such a way that I can expand it um, this is going to be my battery box my in put my inverter in there and everything and I'm going to run power over to the camper now eventually we'll be running power to the house once we build the house uh, but we're still waiting for lumber prices the drop in the lumber commodities has not translated to the big box stores yet or to anywhere really yet. Everybody's still trying to get as much money as they can. 
but right here for now I'm gonna drop this box right here because here very soon uh, I'm gonna be building our new solar uh, installation and I'm gonna build it in such a way like I said before that I can just put add more and more solar to it I may have to add a bigger place for batteries although this will hold several batteries so I'm gonna drop it right here and then I'm gonna to get to work on the little step uh, for Miss Polly alrighty a little bit of work here I took one of these black plastic uh, pallets still not settled completely uh, this piece of mesh uh, pastor might give me um, figured I'd use this walkway end as a boot scrape to scrape our feet off particularly when it rains it gets muddy you don't want to pack it in the camper so we can be a little closer to climbing up in the up in the camper um, I used another one of these down at the other camper uh, just to kind of make it a little bit shorter step for Miss Polly and even me my hips uh, they get to hurting after a project so this is our little walkway now. Like I said, I had to do a little bit of work there. I've got a little seven watt uh, panel that sits out here. It runs into the camper. And we've got two batteries sitting here that uh, it maintains. All we do with these batteries here, we switch back and forth is charge our phones sometimes we run the TV just depends on where our other unit is we have boo holes it's where boo takes and tries to get cool he digs down <laughs> they're everywhere here uh, everything's kind of a mess I've got projects laying everywhere but we're going to upgrade our solar here very shortly I just ordered some more uh, solar equipment we're going to upgrade that you gotta do stuff a little bit by little bit and I can always use I, it I never you know I'm never wasting money I can always use the solar if nothing else I can hook up I bought a like I ordered a new invert not an inverter but a, a charge controller today wow, terrible um, and I can always use it somewhere else. So I'm not really worried about that, uh, that I'm wasting my money by ordering more stuff. I can always use it somewhere. Eventually I'm gonna have a garage down here. It's gonna have its own system in it. And the house is gonna have a really pretty good system on it. It's probably five, uh, six uh, kilowatts of power uh, just for the house. So that's that's gonna be a pretty good project that I'm gonna be starting uh, like I told you before never wasting my money always trying to plan so that my future plans don't cost me uh, as much as they would if I had to buy everything new every time so anyway this little system here is going to go on the little camper so that we can have lights when we're down there we're still using it to cook by in here we're mainly sleeping and entertainment it's a living room and bedroom down there's where we're still cooking when we cook here uh, when we're on projects we tend to eat out a little bit more but it's because we're just so tired at the end of the day um, but those resources that uh, pastor Mike give us really uh, just a few little things that make it make life a little bit more comfortable We've got some resources to work with if I need it, metal and first one thing or another. So really happy about uh, getting resources. I feel blessed when, when I get them. Other people look and they see junk. I look, I see resources. So uh, on to the next thing. Here's another thing that I got from Pastor Mike. Um, he had this, it, it was a service uh, cord for a camper. It's going to work really good to make uh, 
battery cables for a solar system. And there's quite a bit of it here. So I won't have to be looking for any anytime soon. I do have some more that I got uh, the other day at a yard sale. Tumbled up mess in here, but that's the way it goes. Um, I picked up chains from that same, it was actually an estate sale. Picked up some chains, didn't pay a whole lot for them. Uh, got some more wire for, this is really multi-strand, which is really good for your, for your battery banks. Also have this, I'm pretty sure this is like a winch controller, um, three prong, but it has big cables on it already. And I gave like six bucks for this. Uh, these two leads alone, they won't be near as long at Harbor Freight are like 30 bucks. So got two heavy ones. Uh, these are a little bit lighter here, but well worth six bucks. Um, I think I paid $21 for the come along that needs a hook, the cable, and the chain. So not that bad of a deal. Oh, and I also got this monkey wrench uh, in the deal too. I can't remember exactly. I, I had two deals. I had uh, this deal. This is, this is a set of cables, the monkey wrench and a chain. And then I came back bought some more stuff but anyway I think I got less than 30 bucks in the whole deal uh, if I remember correctly so bringing in resource bringing in tools uh, this is a really good rigid um, monkey wrench so been need one of those to bend pipe bend stuff with It'll work out really well this right here is gonna be more than enough wire to make all of my solar connections uh, and I'll have some left over. I'm gonna put this in the van and stockpile it until I get my new system in. The game in homesteading is getting resources where you can as cheap as possible, free if, if you can. Uh, but I'm always looking for resources like estate sales, yard sales. I'll dig down into boxes. I also got a bunch of propane and water fittings at that same estate sale. I think I had, I think it was like 10, 10 bucks one time and $21 the next. It's like 31 bucks. I'd have to talk to Polly, but we go to those estate sales. The, the cables alone cover the cost of everything else. The monkey wrench, the chains, the come on, those are all extras. Um, and that's what you've got to do. You've got to have an eye for what you're, you need down the road. Um, this stuff can sit here for as long as I need it to. It's not going to go bad. Uh, and I can use it when I need to. Lumber sometimes goes bad sitting out, um, but when it comes to metal and components, hey, they're not gonna go bad. They can sit there for as long as I need to, but I got them on the cheap. I don't have to go at that time when I need it and buy it for full price. Um, that's the name of the game out here. So collect it when you can, as cheap as you can. That's gonna wrap it up for me today. Not a very long video. Um, Again, thank Pastor Mike for uh, thinking of me with all that stuff you had in your backyard. It's really going to help me out. And until next time, remember, pray hard, stay strong, ride on.